New information from 343 about the big team battle fix. Well, how the shop looks like it can't be formatted properly. Behemoth kicked out, and as well as some armor effects being, well, aligned properly. If you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everyone? Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video. If you like these videos, make sure to tap that like button. It greatly helps out the video channel within that YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So our main man, Unishek, recently just dropped some information on a blog update here, guys, talking about some updates when it comes to BTB, the shop fixes, and some armor customization that's not exactly working properly. So let's just dive right into the information here. So first we're gonna be talking about the big team battle update and the status on that. Currently, the studio is running a successful playtest today of BTB, which, well, they said that previously, and, uh, well, they said that so far it looks to be working, but they haven't, you know, tested it out yet, so they sent the test build out to certification right now, so once that certification is done, then we'll have that patch brought out to us, which they said could take some time, and if there's no bumps in the road, they said the earliest we could expect the hot fix to land would be next Thursday, February 3rd, which I'm glad that there's, like, at least a bit of a quicker turnaround this time when it comes to getting a BTB fix patch uploaded again compared to like last time where we had to wait like a month uh, this time I had to wait like what two weeks three weeks or something like that so uh, hopefully this patch will actually do the job no guarantees yet but guarantee once that patch does go live I'll share it with you guys to see how it happens and uh, if BTB is actually playable I'm hoping so because I haven't played BTB in like two months and I'm sorely missing out on the whole experience. Next 343 goes into some shop updates as well. If you do, the guys know that recently they've been trying out some new things with the shops. Right this week they're selling some individual items and previously they were doing bundles. They cut the prices down and we can see some more experimentation happen with the shop moving forward. They said that uh, we've seen the desire to have bundles while making the individual items within it purchasable on their own. This is not something the shop supports right now, and we're evaluating our overall presentation to see how we can do better to meet the needs and expectations. Essentially saying it's either just individual items or it's just bundles, so they can't really do both, which I'm like, guys, like, really? You didn't, like, set up the store to be able to be working this way? Like, I think that would be, like, what you would want to do for a store, unless there's you know, some higher up management wanting to do it a specific way, tying their hands behind their back, kind of making them do it a certain way, because, uh, so right now, it seems like we're just gonna either have individual items or uh, bundles, maybe until season two, we'll see if there's any kind of updates or changes happening there. Uh, I was kind of looking for some information to see if they talk about, like, if the individual items compared to bundles, or if the price cut really kind of saw any kind of benefits to 343 side of things, because obviously, we see in our end, we see the benefits of cheaper items within the store. We definitely like that. Though, does 343 see benefit and Microsoft see benefit of chopping down those prices as well as providing individual items? Uh, well, I think they're going to probably keep that information close to the chest when it comes to that stuff. But I would just think that it would be more beneficial because I've seen a lot more people buying into customizations while playing matchmaking. But you know, people were buying that stuff already previously when it was way overpriced. So. We just have to wait and see how this whole thing turns out, but it does sound like Season 2 will have some nice benefits, saying, Though the rest of Season 1, our focus is to provide a better offering of individual items and bundles to help players get the customization they would like without having to buy larger bundles. So, we could see these bundles that we had, you know, kind of shrink down a little bit, maybe provide just, like, really what people want. Like, right now, we have that armor effect with, like, three different emblems tied to it. Like, I don't really care for emblems for the most part. Uh, I really kind of care about that actual customization content that they have. So maybe just kind of trim the fat or maybe kind of do like shoulder pads or like also like maybe like the body piece or maybe a full armor set as well would be kind of cool. Just I think just mixing it up a little bit, cut kind of place to how you would like to see how, you know, 3 for 3 want to see uh, done to it. And they did mention they'll keep an eye on the performance of the store as well throughout season one. And we'll see positive impacts for season two right off the bat as well, which they do kind of mention a little bit about Season 2 here, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, they also state that the previous bundles will return in the store as well. Some bundles will be brought back into rotation, and some will be broken up to allow players to purchase their individual items. So, that's great to see. You know, there's certainly some parts of the bundles that I was like, man, I kind of want that one thing in there, but I don't want to pay like 15, 20 bucks for it. So, this is really great to see. And 
for all you meme lords out there, for all you meme lovers, guys. And yes, the cat ears will return in the shop once again. So there is a second chance for you guys to buy into some cat ears, which I know has been like one of the hottest commodities when it comes to the customization. So if you guys love the cat ears, you'll have a second chance if you miss out on it. And it sounds like other customization if you missed out on it as well. Now, they didn't mention about any previous items that were probably selling for like $20 bundles being sold for like 20 bucks again. I would hope not, though it would kind of screw over the people who paid that kind of money and we didn't get any information on that. Uh, I'm sure once that comes around, we'll just kind of have to wait and see, honestly. And of course, once it does, I'll let you guys know on the channel here. And they also mentioned here, I'm sure you guys have played the Cyber Showdown event, probably unlocked everything right now, that the Neon Screen and Neon Hawk, being the Mohawk, we're here for the Neon Hawk, and the Neon Screen being that visor, are not really centered properly, especially the screen. And they do mention that they've patched these up and they fix up these bomber pieces, bits of customization to fit better, but the update won't roll out until season two, sadly. So we're just gonna have to wait quite a bit longer, guys, until we get that proper update, which I'm like, man, do we really have to wait that long for us to get our, just like the an alignment done properly on the customization? I understand like waiting to like have bigger things come along with the patch update, but this is gonna come around in May, guys. Like that's when season two is gonna be coming around. So we're just gonna just, Play, be playing with like drunk sailors with like their visors and their mohawks just slightly off like the mohawk one you don't really notice but the visor one you definitely notice you look like kind of like a fool with like some just like putting on like hey we'll just put on the visor here i guess they also do mention within this blog update that behemoth ctf has been removed from matchmaking for the ranked side of things as well which has pretty much been universally praised by the community because i don't think really anybody liked playing ranked behemoth myself included uh, i've seen like no pushback from this from the uh, ranked com community out there so glad to see that you know 343 is listening taking in feedback and also improving the experience of halo infinite uh just wait until uh you know we get this btb fixed because we've definitely been seeing a lot of issues with people talking about like lack of content and not be able to do a lot of things i think this is really kind of hurting because we haven't been able to play btb in like two months and so that lack of content which already is kind of a bare bones kind of experience core experience i would really call it for halo infinite to be, you know, in the game right now and then missing out like a full like half or third, however much you play BTB. Like that whole section has been cut out. Like the 4v4 maps are really kind of starting to feel a little stale and I cannot wait to jump back in and play some BTB because you know, I've been playing on stream with a bunch of, you know, you guys as well to jump in the chat when we play together. It's a great opportunity to play with you guys. But now I have to like kind of awkwardly rotate people out of the playlist and stuff like that. It's just can't wait for BTP. Hopefully February 3rd actually fixes things. And of course, if it does, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. But if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm gonna link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.